This video is sponsored by Band. If you clicked on this video, then you're most likely having trouble being productive or you're finding your phone to be too much of a distraction. Don't worry, we've all been there and felt that way. So today I will be showing you the best Android apps to help keep you productive. So the first app that you see when you unlock your phone is the launcher. No matter what launcher you use, I recommend keeping a minimal with only one to two widgets on the home page, a couple of your favorite apps put inside of folders, and only your most necessary apps on the dock. If you are addicted to an app or a game and you can't push yourself to uninstall it, then at least avoid putting it on your home screen. That way you won't get reminded about it every time you unlock the phone and make it harder on yourself to find the app within the app drawer. However, nothing will make you more productive than an actual launcher dedicated to this goal. So if you want to try to avoid any distracting wallpapers, pretty widgets, or any other unwanted distractions, I recommend you download Indistractable Launcher. The title pretty much says it all. There are only two screens found within this launcher. The first one includes the time, date, the progress of the day or year in a percentage, and a list of your necessary apps down below. The text that says calls opens the phone app, Task lets you create a checklist of the things that you want to focus on for the day, and then you can include up to four of your favorite apps. Swiping to the right will pull up the second screen, which has all of your apps in a list format, and it includes a search bar. Long pressing an app brings up a menu that lets you add it to your favorites, hide it, rename it, or even uninstall it. That's the entire launcher, it's very simple, and within the settings, you can modify it a bit, but it's not going to let you change much. The whole idea is to create a clutter-free, minimalist launcher to help you keep focused. However, nothing is more distracting than unimportant notifications. If you're always getting interrupted by them, yet you still don't want to entirely turn off the app's notifications, just in case it provides you with an important one in the future, then I recommend you check out Daywise. This app will only let you see important notifications instantly, and it will notify you and let you see all the other notifications later on in the day when you're not busy. Instant notifications can include messaging apps, calendar events, Uber ride alerts, phone calls, emails, or anything else you deem important. In contrast, all of the other notifications will only notify you in a couple times a day in batches. That way you can avoid checking your phone hundreds of times a day. Next, we have an app that lets you stay organized and be productive with an entire team of individuals. It's called Band and they did sponsor this video, but honestly, this is an excellent group communication platform that lets you keep every member in the same information loop. In the app, groups are called bands, and I created one for the How To Men team. Doing this made it really easy to bring the entire group together. Band provided a private communication space where I could share announcements, schedule events, have photo, video, or file resources, and I could chat with the entire group or message members individually. This app is also equipped with advanced group features, including red receipts, polls, sign up, attendance, live streaming, and advanced group management that makes group communication simple and powerful. And since I was the leader, I had the ability to allow or disable certain features for group members. The best part is that all of these features are free with no hidden fees. They don't even have text or group size limits, and you can create as many groups as you want. Band is also very secure and doesn't allow anyone outside your group to access your data or conversations, and those who had this app testified that having a dedicated group space within Band has strengthened their team bond and created a sense of community where everyone is constantly connected. So download the Band app today through the link in the description. Another great way to become productive when using your phone is being well aware of what apps you use the most and how long you use your phone. Digital Wellbeing by Google is a great way to learn about your phone using habits. It even comes pre-installed within most Android devices. Just check the system settings to find it, and it will let you know how long you use your phone each day, what apps you use the most, and how long you use those apps, how many times you've unlocked the phone, the number of received notifications, and the number of times you've opened an app. You can even set app timers to lock yourself out of addicting apps when you go over the set time limit. And if you just want to automatically lock distracting apps for a set time period for when you're in a Zoom meeting, at school, or work, you can do so with focus mode. The app also makes it easier to put down your phone at night with bedtime mode since it'll remind you that it's time to sleep by turning the colors on your screen gray and automatically enabling do not disturb mode. It's the perfect app to pinpoint noisy apps and to let you take control of your phone using habits. However, I do know that not every phone supports digital well-being, so a great alternative that has pretty much the same functionality is Action Dash. It records your screen time, number of apps you use, focus mode, bedtime mode, app timers, number of notifications, and any other feature found within digital well-being. 
The next app to help you keep productive is very simple yet quite useful if you can't stop checking your phone. It's called Unlock Clock and it's a live wallpaper that displays the number of times you've unlocked your smartphone throughout the day. So once you unlock it, the number increases by one and by midnight, the number resets back to zero. Simple as that. Paper Phone is another app that helps you spend less time on your smartphone. Um, it does this by creating a phone for you that won't distract you from your everyday tasks or relationships. It basically prints out a paper for you to fold into a book and in this paper phone, you can choose what to include, such as favorite contacts, some of the tasks that you need to complete, weather info for the day, pictures, a blank spot to write down notes, directions to a specific location, and more. They have a section called Paper Apps, which allows you to print cooking receipts, Sudoku games, a maze, conversion charts, sign language, and more. It's a neat idea. The only problem that I have with it are that the printing format is A4 size and not standard letter size. So some information will be cut off if you use a letter paper. However, you can still use Adobe Acrobat to scale down the PDF to print it a little better. Another great way to stay productive is to plan out your day and keep track of your daily activities. Boosted is the perfect app for this and it's very straightforward to use. You start by adding your projects for the day. Mine would be reading, working on creating a YouTube video, meditation, and then free time. Then within those projects, I can also include tasks. So for reading, I can specify the type of book that I want to read. For those YouTube videos, I can state what video I'm working on. And when I want to begin a task or a project, I simply start the timer. Over time, the app will show you detailed reports of your daily activities. Last but not least, if nothing is working out and you can't put down your phone, then download Lock Me Out. Just from the title alone, I'm pretty sure you can guess what this app does. It just locks you out of your phone completely for a set amount of time. You won't be able to access your games, apps, launcher, notifications, nothing. You can even set rules. For example, if you used your phone for more than two hours, the app will lock you out for one hour. If screen time for specific apps exceeds 10 minutes or you open those apps more than 10 times, you can also get locked out for an hour. It's a bit harsh, but necessary if you're an addict. You can also just schedule lockout periods. And if you'd like, you can choose what apps you're allowed to use while you're booted out of your phone. That's just the tip of the iceberg. There are a ton more features found within this Lock Me Out app. By the way, if you have a OnePlus device, you can do the same thing within the Zen Mode app. Just look in the shop page on the OnePlus launcher and you should be able to find it. Either way, those are the best productivity apps for Android. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to drop a huge thumbs up on this video. Get subscribed while you're at it with the notification bell turned on. Don't forget to follow us on our social media pages and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!